All right, guys, so here's my breakfast this morning. Um, it made a lot of juice, so I didn't have to like water this down or anything. I did use like half the bag of carrots, like I said. So it's a decent amount of, you know, carbohydrates. Um, and then I'm gonna bring this with me and then I'll show you guys what I have for lunch. Okay, so I just had my breakfast. I've been driving around all morning and I'm gonna have a snack. So. I don't snack a lot, but when I do, the <laughs> Laura bars are pretty much the only thing that I would eat that's like snack food because the reason that I like them is they're all obviously vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, non-GMO. The ingredients are very simple, so I love like the ingredients. In this one, there's just dates, peanuts, cherries, and salt. So I get this one. Another one that I get is just the peanut butter cookie one. And then I also get this one as well. So I don't get like the ones that have oil in them. I know there's like coconut cream pie and ones like that. I don't get those um, or like the ones that have a ton of ingredients, but this one is just dates, almonds, walnuts, cocoa powder, coconut. And yeah, I, so I mean, they're not really high fat. They're not too bad, so like this is 13 grams of fat. But for like a snack bar, they're very, very filling. So I like to have them, especially like with my job running around all day, it's just a really nice thing to have that's, you know, vegan, very simple ingredients. It's not, you know, like something that is complicated or something that is made that's more processed. So this is what I usually have when I have a snack. So I'm gonna eat this one right now. All right, so here's my lunch today. I made some, this is a thousand grams of mashed potatoes. And then I just mash them, or I don't mash them, I um, blend them with like a hand blender to get them super creamy. So it's just water and potatoes and it makes them that creamy. And then I have some fire roasted corn, organic corn, and then just some homemade thick brown vegetarian gravy that I make that I will have the recipe for you guys um, probably out soon. But yeah, that's what I'm having for lunch today and I'm gonna be eating this cold when I'm at work, so. Um, not really cold, just like room temperature, but it's like my favorite lunch ever because it's so filling and it's just amazing. So I was just out with one of our service reps for the day and like we had lunch together and I brought potatoes. <laughs> which I showed you guys, he had, so it was just Easter the other day, he had this like ham loaf, right? And it was the most disgusting thing I've literally ever seen someone eat in my life. It was so disgusting. I can't even talk about it. Like I literally wanted to vomit watching him eat this. And it just makes me think like, people, I literally, the more that I'm vegan, the more that I see people who eat meat as just so fucking brainwashed that it just blows my mind. Like, people think that, you know, eating meat is tasty and it's healthy and like, it, they like it and, but a true carnivore would eat every part of the actual animal. So they'll think, you know, like gutting a, chick gutting a chicken is disgusting or like the intestines of a pig, they'd never eat that or the eyeballs or the, genitals of like a pig or something oh it's so gross i'd never eat it an actual carnivore would devour that shit they would eat it like no problem right but you know the carnivores that are people are like i need my steak rare i need it with like garlic infused butter in it and all these seasonings and salt and like make it taste like something completely different than it really is and they add all these like plant seasonings onto it and that's why they like it and it's just like if you were a true carnivore, you would eat it completely raw with no cooking whatsoever, no seasonings, nothing like that. And they're just completely disgusted by like chopped liver. Like if people eat liver or something like, oh, it's so disgusting, I would never eat that. But you'll eat like the meat or the you know leg of an animal and have no problem with it. Eat the skin of an animal, have no problem with it because it just doesn't even phase you because it's so normal and it's just like the more I think about it and the more that I see people eating 
you know, meat and animal products, it just, it literally just turns my stomach into pieces. Like, I can't even watch it anymore. And I know that I shouldn't judge people because I did that forever, but it's like the longer that I'm vegan, the more I watch people do this and look at them and just be like, how can you eat that? Like, oh, even just the smell of it is just terrible, right? I just can't even, I could never imagine doing that ever again. It's like you go and you pick a banana or a mango off of a tree and you would eat it completely raw and ripe with absolutely nothing on it. And it tastes good because that is what we're meant to eat. If we were meant to eat animals, we would be able to run 40 miles per hour or 20 miles per hour and catch a deer with our bare hands and rip it apart and, with our teeth and our claws and eat it and eat every single piece of it and lick up the blood and love it, like relish in it, you know, and it would be, taste so good. It would taste just as good as like a really ripe, juicy mango. But people are just like, oh, I can't eat this chicken. Look, it's like so undercooked. It's so disgusting. Oh, I'm going to get like salmonella and die. And it's like, if you were really a carnivore, you would you would eat it like that. I don't know. I just had to rant about that because I'm just like, I'm just so, so disgusted right now. I cannot, I can't even, I can't even do it anymore. All right, guys. So for dinner, I had a roasted vegetable salad. So on this, I put asparagus, zucchini, eggplant, roasted corn, sun-dried tomatoes, and a little bit of avocado. And then I just made a dressing out of balsamic and a little bit of tahini, maple syrup, mustard, and that is what I'm having for dinner. So my net calories on average come out to 1800 calories a day. So people might think that's low, people might think that's high. It really depends on your perspective of it. 